Hi everyone. I'm previewing the week ahead in markets where big tech is out in force, with quarter three earnings including the world's most valuable company, Apple. I'll discuss what to look out for in tech stocks as well as run down the economic calendar, which includes US GDP figures and rate decisions in Europe and Japan. GK Invest presents the week ahead. So since we're talking about Apple stock, let's just go over what a successful investment it has been. Apple's initial public offering was on December the 12th, 1980. The company sold 4.6 million shares at $22 each. If you'd purchased $10,000 of Apple stock on its first day of trading, that investment would be worth around 11.5 million as of this month. That's 115,000 total return. Not bad, eh? If that little Apple stock fact got your trading juices flowing, please click the like button. It really helps us spread the word about these videos. As far as the economic calendar goes, we kick off with German IFO expectations on Monday. Tuesday is US durable goods. On Wednesday, it's Australian inflation. Then later, the Bank of Canada is expected to keep rates on hold at 0.25%. Thursday, the Bank of Japan will likely leave rates unchanged. It's the first release of US quarter three GDP and later the ECB will likely keep policy unchanged too. We round off the week with German growth figures and Eurozone September CPI and quarter three GDP. So all the FAMG stocks report this week. Now, some of you may be thinking Rich has finally lost it, but FAMG is actually a thing, I promise you. It's the acronym for the top five performing US stocks, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. Now, the thing to understand here is that the S&P 500 index is up in 2020, but it would be down if these stocks were removed. That means if these five companies have a good earning season this week, it helps the indices that we trade like US 500 and NAS 100. So let's move through the letters here, keeping in mind that how the stocks performs after earnings tends to reflect how the real numbers compare with analyst consensus estimates. First, F for Facebook. The stock is up 28% in 2020 and could be the next company to reach a 1 trillion valuation. Analysts expect sales to rise 11.7% from last year to 19.73 billion, but for EPS, that's earnings per share, to drop 11% to $1.89. Next, A for Apple. Now, as I'm sure you know, Apple just released its first 5G iPhone, the iPhone 12, but that won't affect the third quarter. The stock is up 59% this year. For quarter three, revenues are expected to raise just 0.2% to 64.16 billion, with earnings to decline 6.6% to 71 cents. Next, A for Amazon. The stock is up an eye-watering 74% just this year. Clearly, it has benefited from online shopping and businesses using its cloud storage during the pandemic. Analysts expect sales of $92.5 billion and EPS of $7.27, which is plus 71% from last year. Now M for Microsoft. The stock is higher by 35% this year, and the work-from-home environment increased demand for its products and services. The company releases the new Xbox in November. EPS is expected at 1.55, while revenue growth is expected to have gained 8.1% to 35.7 billion. Finally, G for Google. Now called Alphabet, just got sued by the US Department of Justice in the biggest antitrust case since the one brought against Microsoft 20 years ago. The stock is up 15% in 2020, sales are expected at 42.77 billion and the EPS at 11.18 in quarter three, up 5.6% and 10.5% respectively. Right, thanks everyone, good luck trading and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next video.